Okay, so that's Mount St Helens. And this is the big ass mudslide that came down to Spirit Lake. And there's the blast that came down and knocked down all the trees, which is why everywhere around here is completely deforested. All the tree trunks, you'll notice, all point to Mount St Helens. And on the, it, it, it's frequent that on the backside that you get something called a blast shadow, where there is less devastation than on the brow or the front of the hill. And you see all mountain tops are covered with trees pointing away from mountain islands. Big guy in the background. Up there we have sunset on mountain islands. And then over in the distance there, we have Mount Adams. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. That's actually Mount Hood. I was really thrown by the lack of snow on it. Man. Apparently Baker is that guy. With his head in the clouds. And on this side, you can see where all the trees were just snapped straight off by the blast that came down here. And then the blast shadow of the ridge, you see there are still trees actually standing. And when you get out of the blast shadow, it's completely stripped bare. Oh man, did I miss out here. So this is Spirit Lake. This is the lake where all the trees and logs, it's just a complete morass of logs and whatever. And they've all been washed into the lake and blown down one end. So these, this is basically the remnant of a forest. And what's more, a remnant of a forest 30 years ago. And if you take a look around, what you'll see is here there are sort of trees that have been snapped off, but in the blast shadow there are still trees standing. But if you come around to this side, there uh, there was no shelter. It's stripped completely bare. So up on the hill there, they had some shelter. They remain standing, but out here in the open, all trees were knocked down, all pointing in the same direction. Like that, Isn't that amazing. Okay, this is what I mean about the partially devastated area. So, all the tree trunks all knocked over, all pointing in the same direction towards Mount St. Helens. That funky. Okay, here's a fairly good telling of the story. So, the blast came over the top of that one. The trees just behind it got some shelter, but the ones down in the valley, they got nothing. And so, if you actually look, what you'll find is there's just a load of stumps and no sign of any trees. And then, as you come across the valley, you start finding knocked over trees. These are just knocked over. Yeah, so the blast wasn't wasn't like uh, for these guys over here where they were just sort of torn off at this uh, torn off at the stumps. These guys were just knocked over. And what you'll find is they they all point like matchsticks to Mount St. Helens. And when we get over to the next ridge over you'll find that it's completely littered with just knocked over trees and then on the ridge after that you'll find that there are standing trees but they're all dead and then the ridge after that you'll find that everything is just a woody forest that it once was 
So we come to the last level of the devastation, which is even when the slopes are pointing the mountain, they're not completely devastated. So you can sort of see here, there's enough blast to flatten everything. But just up on the hill, it kill the trees, kill all the trees, but didn't flatten them. So that's the big boy over there in the cloud. And all the way over here, you'll find devastated trees.